The idea of vacation is fairly straightforward. Some precious time each year you go to a place to relax, have fun, maybe learn a thing or two about local culture. Tourism rarely asks much more of travelers, and that's a lovely thing. But in an age where tourism dollars can really make a difference, maybe that's changing. Great destinations, not unlike great people, go through ups and downs. September 2017 was a month that would affect Love City maybe forever. And for obvious reasons, the months that followed were pretty chaotic. Nobody thought that this thing would be like this. Not in a million years. But when I got the call that the island was ready for visitors again, I started to wonder, what's it like to vacation somewhere that could really use your help? And this time I will stay. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I've been waiting for you for a long time. Right. Travel's more accessible today than ever before. But to find the best experiences, the right vacation rental can make all the difference. For years, I've worked with the inner circle of professionals leading this movement. Now I'm going on vacation to experience their work in person, and I'd like to share with you our stories as we redefine hospitality on a whole new scale. My name's Matt Landau. This is The Vacation Rental Show. Less than a year before my visit to St. John was the tragedy of Hurricane Irma, a Category 5 storm with wind gusts several hundred miles per hour that totaled the island of St. John as far as the eye could see. Irma's winds blew off roofs, her tornadoes twisted homes inside and out, upending beliefs and dismantling even the most iconic of landmarks. She was followed two weeks later by a second hurricane, Hurricane Maria, another Category 5. St. John was seriously down, but as I'd come to discover, it was not out. We walked out of that building that morning and we saw what we survived. It was like we just all hugged them and we took okay, the start. And we stopped. And we've been going ever since. This has to be Mirna. Mirna. And this is Chopka Bless. Yes. <laughs> Nice to meet you. How are you? Welcome home. I'm this well. Is a very pretty sign. Thank you. Who made this? I believe it would be Car Carla. <laughs> this is Dallas Point Resort. This is basically the only resort we now have on island. Okay. Uh, Camille Bay shuttered, completely devastated, and so was the Western Resort. After the hurricanes, the two big resorts on the island of St. John were wiped out. So vacation rentals represent the only place to stay. I chose this vacation rental because it had amazing ocean views and was within a short walking distance of town. There you go. That's it for you. Okay. Just like that. That's it. <laughs> wow. You know you wanna feel it. You know you wanna see it. Electricity gonna flow. This is about as uh, comfort complete as a as welcome back and I have ever seen. Mirna, uh -oh. see a fully stocked refrigerator. Clearly, these a are awesome. These are pressed juices. Whoa! Absolutely no agua. From here in the island, mm -hmm. they make it here on, in the Virgin Islands, in St. Thomas specifically. Wow! By the fruits that are grown here, it's all organic. These are beautiful. Yeah. This is a great tip for hosts, by the way. One of the big differences is that you can stock your fridge with cold beverages, water, sodas, beers, it doesn't cost a whole lot. These are the little investments that go a really long way. And if you wanna kick it up a notch, offer a private shopping service prior to arrival if your guests are traveling a long distance. This is an incredible luxury to be able to arrive to a fully stocked kitchen. And if you wanna innovate like Carla, click below to go behind the booking. Bro, everything starts with bro for me. As your soul sister, on behalf of our love city, is that St. John? Yes, that's St. John. St. Okay. John's been dubbed love city. On behalf of our love city community, I joyfully welcome you. She does. 
A week of total chillaxation at latitude 18. This is color. And, and, and it's all truth. Coupon for one reusable free hug. Isn't that cute? Carla is so special. She pours her heart and soul into everything that she does. She has put so much time and attention into her vacation rental. Nothing there has been placed without very careful thought. Carla doesn't miss um, details. A flashlight, yeah. A flashlight, a five day glow. Any time on St. John you can lose electricity, especially since the hurricanes. And she wanted you to have that if you're outside and it happens. So thoughtful. Stops. Yes. My name is Carla Gustafson, and I'm the proud owner of Tropical Blessings. I came to St. John in 1986 on a vacation. I just fell in love with it instantly. Managed to um, go back to the States, put everything in storage, move back here, find a job. And from day one, I just knew I wanted a place here someday. And that's the story that's been running ever since. She's a character, for sure. Most people on the island uh, laugh when they talk about her in the most admiring of ways. I'm having a lot of laughter when I'm by you. You're making me laugh for nothing. <laughs> yeah, you make me laugh for nothing. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Good morning, guys. Good morning again. Good morning. Oh, what is this? Some sort of handshake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very nice. Very Virgin nice. Islands National Park. Yep. And your guide, the famous Lincoln. Lincoln. Abraham. <laughs> Lincoln Abraham? <laughs> Lincoln Abraham Jarvis. Oh, Abraham Lincoln. Is that real? Your middle name? No. Oh. <laughs> My real name is John. John Doe. <laughs> it's always helpful to tell your vacation rental host the kind of things that you're into. And when I mentioned to Carla that I love going out for morning jogs, she said I had to meet her friend Lincoln, a man that you would never believe is 50 years old until you see his ID. I'm ready again. Ready again? Yeah. I'm right behind I'm you. Get All right. Staying active is one of Lincoln's secrets to staying young and a sunrise running tour allowed me to not just see a number of St. John's beaches, but to hear Lincoln's stories of island living, about his work in construction and rebuilding roofs with new levels of reinforcement. Simple secrets like where to get the coldest beers in town, historic sugar plantations that weathered the storms. I'm St. John Lewis, Virgin Island, National Park Territory. Inner peace and outer, outer peace. Respect. Out of peace, in a peace. Originally from Dominica, St. John was the only place he'd choose to live out his days. And I love everything I see around here. Everything is natural, pure, beauty. It's all about St. John, the U.S. Virgin Island. If you only say one thing to Lincoln, it should be respect. You'll connect with him immediately. Yeah, respect all the time. Respect all the time. Respect, all the time. period. <laughs> That's how the world runs. Respect. Yes, man. Over my time here, I'd come to realize that Lincoln is every St. Johnian in this way. A perfect understanding of what he likes and why he likes it. A respect that you find throughout the residents who have anything but abandoned this place after the storm. Hello, oh, visitor. They're laughing at us, Captain. They never or with they've us. Never, they're laughing with us. They've never told us what is so damn funny. Yeah. But they laugh all the time. 80 years old, swimming 20 feet deep under coral, telling me to follow him. 
If you're going to St. John, you gotta get on a sailboat. Carla recommends Captain Phil for all her snorkeling trips because he's been doing it so long. He's got pretty much every need and question and concern cover far before it arises. What kind of, uh, what kind of wildlife do you think we'll see in our snorkel? There's kinds of fish. Uh, hopefully the spotted eagle rays will come by. Mm. And uh, the last time I was there, we did see one turtle with like four remoras hanging out. Yeah, I saw those remoras. Yeah, and that's what I hope for. I met Captain for a quick breakfast before heading out to the Wayward Sailor where I'd meet his first mate, Tarn. The two play off each other really well. The captain is a treasure trove of underwater wisdom. I'll just tell you some interesting facts about this guy. They have nine brains. Each leg has its own brain. And Tarn is too, but she takes care of some of the more technical tasks on board. The feeling of snorkeling in the crystal clear waters of Christmas Bay was like being on another planet. And one of the coolest things I felt from snorkeling with Captain Phil was that he was starting to see the wildlife coming back. Little signs of recovery like this seem to really stick with the people of St. John. Butterflies. We thought they were gone. And they came back with a fury. Maybe like two months ago, there were like butterflies everywhere. And just to see like, like sour stops on the trees, just to see things, fruits coming back. I remember the first time I saw somebody jogging. It warmed my heart because it was like such a normal thing to see after so long. The something as simple as seeing someone jogging in the street is like, yes. Normalcy? Yes. Abby Hendricks is one of those people that others rally behind. When the hurricanes hit, taking charge and organizing groups was pretty much the only path that Abby saw. Has that always been your, uh, your attitude? Yes. You always want to see, it's, it's small enough and intimate enough that we're all together. Why were you shaking your head when I was asking if it's always been, you, you look like you, you thought I was going to ask something else. Yeah, I thought you were going to ask something else. <laughs> if, if I always volunteered like this, oh, you know, I never always... really had to. Right. You know, there wasn't a need. Mm -hmm. The best way that I can describe the damage of the hurricane to St. John now 10 months after touchdown is to imagine someone that you really love a family member or a close friend, and to envision them in a really bad accident. Talking about much less showing me the status of St. John couldn't have been an easy thing for Abby to do. Despite the damage, I found myself several times almost naively commenting on the still stunning natural beauty of this place. Abby would respond with almost a sigh of reassurance a helpful little reminder that the dream of St. John had not been lost. People love the island and love the people. So, and they, we felt everything that people sent for us. Because you could, you could just feel the presence of prayers. Yeah. Like, yeah, you felt it. You received yeah. it, you know. It's a reminder. Mm-hmm. How many people love you. Love it. you and love the island and what it stands for. My morning with Abby ended with lunch at Miss Lucy's a most delicious excuse to venture to Coral Bay where the hurricane touched down hard. Were the bees cool throughout the uh, storm? Oh no, the bees had a big problem during the storm. What did they do? They all got mashed up, blowing away, blowing them with the wind. I had to start all over. Huh. And I start all over and I'm on my way up again. Miss Lucy had the goat horns on her trunk and she would stick flamboyant flowers in it or bougainvillea oh, that, flowers. That Oh, she was a character. <laughs> and she had this um, restaurant on the, on the water. Yeah. She could cook. She was really hospitable. She was a sweet lady. We met up with some of Abby's fellow relief heroes, such as Lieutenant Brown, whose actions will go down in the history books as way beyond the obligations of police officer. Brown did the diagonal, <laughs> diagonal shower curtain rod with the broomstick. <laughs> That shot the door to stop her from bucking on us. <laughs> Thank God he was there. What was the mood in there? I'm not taking credit. But these people, oh, they were embarrassing. <laughs> we were like all shaky. And then we're like, okay, pull this together. We got this. And then we were good. 
and it was funny because we were doing index because we were getting phone calls. And at a certain point, the wind got really bad, and then you saw on the board, the board, all hell broke loose. Yeah. <laughs> and then Brown made an announcement. For that five minutes, when we were all in panic, when the building, when we realized that the top of the building was falling in on us, Brown goes, "Well, this is not a safe environment. This is supposed to be a safe environment." I told my kids I was coming to a safe environment. This is not a safe environment. <laughs> you can't, you know, it's a vibe. You can't just sit there. You can't sit there and like, like look up in the him. sky. Who's going to save you? No, you got to save yourself. Uh, and we did. God bless you. Amen. Everyone at lunch, from Alia Lockhart of the Health Services to the courageous nonprofit team from Love City Strong to Will, Miss Lucy's son who keeps everything moving. They epitomized community leadership for me. And most of them may have refuted this, but their actions seemed heroic to me. As a traveler, they made me rethink the way that I could assist my community. They're the people you'd want in your town were some kind of emergency to strike. We have to create our own resources, and that's where the, the private sector steps in as we start to uh, yeah. fill in those holes. Uh, we just have to fill in those gaps with education, with uh, training, with emergency management, and you know you can't overtake your, your local municipalities, you have to work with them. And so it's sort of understood that we all collaborate together to make where our home is better. It's your home, and you do anything to make your home, you know, livable. That's actually That's great. almost exactly what uh, Abby said in the car. Oh yeah. I, uh, Abby and I, we face death and uh, we survive and she can call me at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm there. You're there for <laughs> And this is a great tip for travelers too. Beyond just the sun and the sand, consider reaching out to a local cause. It can give your vacation an entirely new layer of meaning. Beyond the damage that seems to have changed the face of St. John for at least the extent of my lifetime, are the reliable experiences that still, seemingly unfazed, have not changed a bit. So this is our key lime pie. Okay. Um, so this is my mom's recipe, actually, from 84. Don't feed donkeys. <laughs> you see what I mean? Lesson learned. Hello. Hey, 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 get nice and friendly. <laughs> you are a nerd. <laughs> Take my sunset cruise with Captain Mike, for example. Uh, we have uh, beverages on board. I realize you all brought some food today. Um, I've got some signature drinks that we make. Signature uh, drinks? They're delicious. Uh, one is called the Pirate's Painkiller. Uh, the name is very popular here, but our ingredients are a little extra special, so. Wow. When you say um, we, are you referring to yourself and Henley? Yes, exactly. Carla also wanted me to meet Steve Simonson a world-renowned underwater photographer and his wife, Janet, who tagged along for the ride and personally affirmed for us that the sea turtles and the huge rays that we saw snorkeling, they were as active and as healthy as ever before. When our house went, I was in the house, the roof blew over the head, my head, and I couldn't get to the shelter that my wife was at, which was, was just next, next door. door. Next door was a cement house. We were in a wooden house. Like from here to there. If you can imagine a photographer with all of his belongings in his office, which is a studio, 40 hard drives, computers, all my cameras, I can hear upstairs the house is just, it's just moving. It's making noises it's never made. And I'm like, oh. I text Janet and I say, you know, Janet, I'll see you, you know, with or without a roof. She, she just texted back and said, get out of there now. The herd of goats who, almost on cue, like they have been for years, wandered out in single file to watch the sunset aside a steep cliff along Lavongo Key. And despite the impact of the hurricanes, which was impossible to ignore, I couldn't help but admire the beauty that was, to merely a visitor, still as stunning as anything I've seen in the world. On my last night in St. John, I wanted to take advantage of Tropical Blessings Kitchen and its common areas to host a dinner. 
a small token of my appreciation to the people that gave meaning to St. John for me. Carla reached out to Chef Shabu, a Ghana native who attended the Culinary Institute of America, then returned to St. John to host dinner and convince people to stand up and dance. We've never done any missing in an interview. <laughs> And as the dinner came to a close, I had the chance to reflect back on my visit to Love City, one of those special corners of the earth where the respect that residents have for one another is rivaled only by a collective love for the place they call home. And I learned that oftentimes adversity in a destination can result in some pretty surprising things. Realizing that we're capable of far more than we once thought strangers who come out of the woodwork to help, a new perspective on the things that we hold dear. St. John was way more than just a straightforward vacation for me. It was a testament to this resilience, the chance to contribute to something special. And from the most selfish of perspectives, that sensation as a vacationer, it feels incredibly good. Whatever you dream or dream you can, Begin it. A dream has boldness, power, and magic in it. And I think it's all about that. So the dream, we're just gonna keep dreaming and dancing. Bye. Bye. You too. <laughs> Sometimes the character of a destination. Sometimes the meaning people give to it. But oftentimes a mixture of both. This is St. John. This is the Vacation Rental Show. And I've tried at least a thousand times To go them away